Hi and welcome to another video of the Cobra 2 at Dad's RC Hangar. My name's Chris and I'm really happy to see you here. Um, we're going to start carrying on building, uh, maybe trying to put some bits and pieces onto it and if we get time on this episode we'll stick the receiver in. Um, I've been thinking to try and save some time. It, yes, it did hurt. Enough of the chat, let's get to it. Okie dokie, um, welcome back to another wet day in England. United Kingdom, wet stuff, all over the place. I thought it was, it was started off sunny today and you know when you get the sun out it makes you feel good, gets all that vitamin D going, and then it rained. Vitamin D gone. But, I did want to make this video. Um, I did make a video the other day. Um, about the SR S8R, if uh, if you, I might put one of them little baldy things in that you have, oh yeah, getting trendy on YouTube, um, just to see that. But I basically got stuck on this because um, I wanted to test it before I stuck her in. Um, now you uh, normally put the uh, receiver in so it's facing uh, the front um, of the airplane, uh, which puts all the pins like that. So when it's normally here, it's a bit of a pain. Uh, but the battery, the battery sits in here. So now I have got a, uh, it says about 2600, but I got a 2200 four cell and it's a five, uh, sorry, 75C. Um, it's like one of my super sexy graphites, things that that's in focus or not, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not too fond of these uh, sticky velcro -y. I mean, you know I like Velcro, right? But these kind of like straps that they put in there, I mean, they're for people with deedy deedy fingers, or it's just uh, for pixies. I, I don't know. You know, I think I really should invest in a big plane for big hands. Well, they're huge, but they're just, you know, you know. Yeah. So they all kind of meant to stick in there and tie in and, and loop up. Um, I, you know, the CG, it has got like the space, it's like a, a battery, but that's where the battery fits. Uh, of course we've got to do the CG, I mean that already feels heavy, but there's kind of like a pattern on the bottom that shows you like where the battery's going I presume. Not too happy the way this gets stuck in though, you know. Um, I might even invest in like a, a battery tray or something, I don't know. But anyway, so the ESC, which is uh, which is there, if you can see it's put out there, it does slip up the hole, misses. So now you've got some air going in from the prop you have it's got a weird spinner but it's got a hole in it so maybe the air will get in there and cool that down now there's a hole at the back of the undercarriage so I'm hoping that you know it can be quite far forward but that you know it's going to be pretty close to the battery so waffling on as I do is the place for it will be back here so I've put as I said, I've put an extra cable in here because uh, if I don't want to use the radio, I'd rather use a PC to calibrate um, the um, stabilisation. And then I, it, while it's in there, I can just hook on that cable. Forward thinking there. Oh yeah. So I want, you know, maybe I was putting it on a tray so then I can put it back out again, or maybe I just velcro it in. But we're not at that stage anyway. I will do the rest of it. And now I know I keep saying to myself, why don't you stick this in first? Because I've not made up my mind if I want to put some sort of timber maybe I need to get some balsa wood you know so I can just slip it in so it stays there and if I need it I can pull it back out again I don't know overthinking things again possibility do I do that sort of thing of course I do so we've got our bible fantastic so we'll, we'll, we'll take it through the steps already I'm missing my screwdriver god damn Okay, so first of all, it's telling us to do the um, aileron linkages. Why is it telling us to do the aileron linkages? I thought they was in. No, they're not. They're not in, are they? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do the. All right, we'll do the. We'll do the ailerons. Let's uh, move this to the to the side so you'll be able to see what to do. Right. Let's get my bag bag of bits. Bag of bits. So we've got some um, aileron bits there. Well, should I say, um, should I say servo bags, servo bags, spinner, servo bag, 
and on the piece of resistance another bag of bolts nuts no bolts yeah they're for the wing anyway to keep it in place nice bolts with the hex heads as well I do like the hex heads nice one people nice one rock hobby stroke FMRC great stuff why they don't keep them like that sometimes I don't know right so let's get this puppy down here um, should we put our servo testers so it comes into a bit of a linkage here I showed you it before it's actually falling apart so it's a little lid on here I don't know why that's falling apart give me a second can you see that in shot not really but this is kind of it's a little clipping it just holds the cables there I think we'll stick this out the ass like so just so we can put these at 50 percent um, in my little gizmo box oh yes look at that I have a new one this is my servo tester which I love but this is a better one this has got LED readout should we give this one a go haven't even played with it yet no 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 sir so we got out we got 4.6 in so uh, so it goes in that way he says it, 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 it goes in that way is it and it's interesting no okay it go makes it goes in that way got gotcha, your Oscar almost blew it up right so there you go it sticks in the back there can you see that I really need to get a big monitor because I can't see stuff. I'm blind, you know. Right, and then we'll stick our little servo lead. You've got up to four in here. You can plug four in here. But we don't want to plug four. I just want to do one. So we'll stick that into number four, just in case. And we'll stick our battery in here. Look at that. Look at that LED readout. Can you see that? So presumably, uh, it's 1500 should be center. So even though I like the lot, it does, we'll see what it does to the servo. But you know, you can actually set it. You see that? I think it's pretty cool. So let's, oh yeah, baby. In fact, what's this, what's six set? You look at that, it goes down and then up. Hmm. So this is center. Do you know what, this is good, but I don't, you know, I, I like my small one. This doesn't look like it does, it goes down, it goes up. Yeah, another day. I prefer this one still. I like it. That one's good, I suppose, if I want to see, you know, exact, exacto mondo. But this one I, I really like. A little blue lights and oh, oh stuff a little blue light you know it, it does stuff I like it it does what it says in the tin so that's uh, it does also it does three but it doesn't matter we don't need to uh... this is why I thought that went that way because this one goes that way so are you ready let's get this searched right so that is power that is neutral minus are you ready for a bit of wheel action? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, wheels. Yeah, they haven't got, um, they've not got uh, um, suspension on. Yeah, it's a suspenders. Suspension. <laughs> um, tires are, are a bit, I think they're foam. They're a bit rubbery. Foam. But that works. Okay, okay, that works. So let's try what we got here. We got uh, gear, we just tried that one, didn't we? What does that one do then? I don't know. It hasn't got a sticker on it. Channel one, what the gear, flap, flaps, all flaps. Flaps, flaps, flaps.
servos there. I'm so <laughs> looking to see why the flaps are not open. Hello, the flaps are there. So let's get that neutral position. All right, you can just see that on there. Uh, can you see that if I? Yeah, it's moving. Let's get it to neutral position, which we want. Then I'll take out the flaps. Then we stick in channel one, which ailerons maybe. Yep, that's the ailerons. And that's it. So I wonder what that that one's for then. It's got an extension on it. Where does it go? Channel 5B it says on it. Channel 5B. I wonder if that's... Uh, I have to have a look in there. Because it says it's for lights, LED lights. But I've seen no LED lights in the plane. Pass. Okay. That's fine. It's all good. Let me just... Uh, let me move this camera down a bit so we can see. We're getting real close. So let me. In, I'm all. I'm all bright and everything. Um. There you go. So let's. It's gonna move you. Hold tight. Hey, hey. There we go. I think I'm zoomed in. Zoom. There we go. Zoomed in. Right. So now we can see a bit better what's going on. So what I'm doing. Right, so some of these, so let's get our little booklet just in case I'm doing stuff wrong. Um, it has been said that I do do stuff wrong. So we're looking at a little booklet and it's got a little pack there of um, basically that. Okay, so let's get this out. I don't know where I've put my little magno tray. Where have I put my magno tray? Got to have me magno tray. Ah, here's me magno tray. Someone's hiding it from me. Why do I need a magno tray that's got a bit of water in? Where has it got water from? Because it stops me from losing bits. In the magno tray. Okay. So, okay, these have got a bit of stubbies on. So it says. Where does it say? It says it doesn't say. It just gives me a bit of. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, thank you very much. Right, okay. So it says these are going to be here and here. Yeah, okay. I get that. So let's stick this in then, let's go for it, let's go for gold. Now it does kind of slip in the hole and it's got like little kind of uh, sticky outy bits. Not really technical, I know. But to kind of like self, self groove, does that make sense? So it kind of like cuts into the, into the foam, which is, you know, lovely foam, really strong. Cuts into the foam, to, so it kind of, it stops it wobbling, I suppose like so and then on the other side we have a little flat pieces if we can see that can you see that yeah can we see that yes there you know it's grey why is it grey I don't know it's stupid considering it's going on yellow then I've got diddy screws diddy diddy screws with diddy diddy screwdriver that I haven't prepared hmm of course I don't prepare. I do try to think I must get my stuff prepared. So have I got one in my that, that might do it. I've got some in my sort of like I call my flight bag, my flight box. Which is little ditty ditty ones. So let's stick that in there and see how easy that's going to screw in I'm hoping it's going to be good I think that's screwing in, yes it is I've got to stop doing my Arnold Schwarzenegger screwing <laughs> because I'll be back, no because I screw 
more than it needs to and before you know it I, I, and that's not screwing in it's, I don't want to go mad because I'll end up breaking something now they're all the same size screws oh here we go right I just need to, did need to press it a bit further how tight you need to do this I don't know I try and do it like you know really dainty and I'm you know I'm sure when you <laughs> in the air you'll find out um, but once again, you know, this goes 100 plus mile an hour. So how tight do you put it until it starts sinking in? That's pretty sunk into me on the other side. I would say that's strong enough. They, they are really diddy diddy screws. I probably won't even be able to, you won't be able to see them. They're that diddy. No. Put a magnifying glass on the computer screen. Then you'll see it. I'm really surprised at that diddy. When you get some models, they're just like huge. You know, you think, what am I screwing here? The fourth bridge? Seventh bridge? Whatever it's called. And you get a spare screw. I always worry when I've got a spare screw. I don't know if anyone's built like a wardrobe or a table or something. And you end up with a spare screw. <laughs> and you're looking at the wardrobe or whatever you built going, uh-huh. <laughs> What's going to break? What's going to fall out? But yeah, I'm, I'm a great believer that it's just that someone's been nice. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying. Right, so I'm daintily putting this in. You really need kind of like a screwdriver that stays in your hand. Um, you really need like a torque screwdriver, really. You know, how tight, you know, tighten the screw it. Blah, blah, torque. Torque, torque. Right, so okay, there, there they are. They're all screwed in. In fact, you know, I'm bashing this about the hanger. I should be at least put a bit of my foam underneath to stop the, to stop it, whatever, scratching up. Um, that tape, I can see that tape going unstuck after a little while. But you know, that's not, you know, that blend them and all sorts. FMS servos. Right, so, why I haven't seen in here actually. Oh no, this is interesting. Right, that's got bigger screws. So that, I think, might be for the rudder. <laughs> hmm. Have I lost the bag? No. So, one, two here, one, two there. One for the... Oh, I see. Oh, yes, yes. It's all right, it's all right. I know. It's a surprise. So, on here... On the linkages, <laughs> that's good, isn't it? In here, they're black screws, but you've got silver screws. Let me have a look. According to this, all the screws are the same size. That is on its own, and that's got black screws. It has got two. Mm, maybe the black. Oh, I know what the black screws are for. The black screws are for screwing in the. Um, Elevator, elevators. All right. Why didn't they put them in a separate bag? People like me don't read before I do. <laughs> right. Also, this is the funny bit on here as well. Is um, a really weird thing. I don't know. On 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 the um, on the first picture here. Let's see if I can bring it in. On the first picture here, you've got that. That's that's basically what that is. That's all good. On the second picture, you've got a little rubber thing. And then you've got like a, a little different type. It's got a little plastic bit around it with a rubber thing. Do you think someone got mixed up with their pictures? I think so. None of them have got that. Interesting. Interesting. Right, what uh, what's, it, what's it say, middle? So, um, this is interesting isn't it so that's gonna hook in that way so we've got like a little dog leg oh sorry you're over there aren't you it's a little dog leg you see that so I'm basically gonna go in the middle and this is when I'll figure out that I'm in the wrong side in the middle of the servo arm and uh, no I'm not yes I am there you go and then I'm gonna twist there you go and I'm gonna get the other one 
so, so middle of the servo, servo arm and now I presume I'm going in the right way what does it say on that servo it says on the outer edge outer edge so what do you reckon I reckon it's the outer edge it doesn't show a picture of both of them but we'll give it a go and turn that looks good to me so there we've got our little linkages um, we've got the servo at 50 percent no I've unplugged it but the servo is at 50 percent out of the way so I don't scratch up my plane. Spare screw in there. So this just pops on now. This is when I'm just going to have to pause the video for literally a second and I'm back. Right, okay, did I move? Did I move a bit? I don't know. Hey, well, stop moving me. Right, okay. I, I forgot to get these. These are my little funky things that basically do the ball joints. So, if I get that so that's kind of like dead there, that is way off. So that needs a good old screwing. Okay, no more. Remember I'm going, this is at 50%. Tobias with the ball joints, they're a pain in the ass to pop off. They're good, but they're a pain in the ass. So you really need to kind of get it right. That seems good to me. Now what you do, is there's a little tooth looks a little bit like me but toothless put it at the back is that on shot let's see if i can do this in shot this is going to be interesting there we go so that's about right i think maybe if i put that on there no it's got to go in another twist if you put it on the ball you should see that's holding the the aileron where it is and oh, more again surprising isn't it I presume you can see what I'm doing here right so that if I put that on that's pretty pretty trim so if I can if I can hold this somehow this is when you need people to help you <laughs> if I can stick that if it will stay on there for a second no it's not going to happen uh, okay I'm trying to show you right so I'm plot it on there Okay, and then I'm going to stick the tooth behind on the end, like so. Squeeze, boom, on. And that is the ball joint on the joint, the ball, the hole on the ball. And that's pretty, that's pretty, it's pretty level. And then focus, Chris, would help. Yep, I'm liking that. Right, so let's do the others. Let's do the flaps. That needs a wind out. Do 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 do. Do, do, do do and again you're winding me up stop it <laughs> okay right okay is that no this is not all that i don't like going too far off these this is flaps but hey you know okay that looks good to me yeah i've got a feeling that snap yeah, the flap is a bit off that end, but I think I'm quite surprised actually. These are the flaps, and they've put the servo right here, right at the end. You would have thought they'd put it in the middle. I know you've got the landing gear, but you could have put like the servo here and then had a long arm to there. Once again, you know, they've got no hinges on these puppies, pure, pure foam. Well, it looks, unless it's got some hidden hinges, but I don't think that has. So, you know, I'm really, so when you're pulling the flaps, I know you don't, you, it's only landing, it's all nice and feathery, but I mean, that's going to flap about a bit, surely. And don't call me surely. Okay, well, let's, um, let's do the other side. Okay, we've had to stop the video there. Um, I just realised that I've gone over my little 30 minute, sort of uh, 35 minute video mark. Um, I did actually finish the video an hour uh, so there will be another video there'll be a part three of the actual building of the cobra 2 um and, and a, probably a part four to put the electronics in um so i've had to come back into the hangar and um, just to make an alternative ending and um, because otherwise the film would have been uh, too long and you'd have got bored um even if you scrub through just to find out bits and pieces if you're making the plane that uh, that uh, you might like so <laughs> um until the next video, which will be shortly after this one, keep flying, be safe and have fun.
See you later, man. Bye-bye.